Hello everyone, it's Angela from the Catholic Life of a Planner. Welcome to my channel. January of 2020. Can you guys freaking believe it? Like, I know I can't believe it. Like, 2019 just flew by. There were so many good moments in 2019 and so many moments that I just want to forget about 2019 as well. But that is every year, if I'm being completely honest. And the moments that I want to forget about 2019 do not outweigh the moments that I want to remember. I'm sure I'm not alone when I say that statement. So here in front of me, I have my Erin Condren Life Planner Binder. This is the colorful version. I've been using this since, let's see here. I get to see all the pages that I thought I was going to use that I didn't really use. So June. So I had taken, uncoiled my life planner. Oh, May. Yeah, the end of May, beginning of June, and started using it then. So maybe I should do a flip through. That would be kind of fun, but I'm not going to do that right now. So anyways, I do not use a January to December calendar. I use the academic year. That just seems to work really well for me. Um, you know, I have kids still in school, so I like that. And then also, I like that Erin Condren releases her new planners, I think in June. Maybe they release, or you get to see what they look like in May, and then you can order them in June. However that works. So I like to be able to use the new planner. So I do love the binder. It is definitely, definitely, definitely wonderful for me. I know a lot of people have had trouble with it, like with their pages turning and closing their books and all of that stuff. And I have not had any trouble. I think that I am definitely one of the lucky ones, but I would definitely recommend that you use the binder if you want something that is a little more flexible than the coil. Um, I will tell you if you use the Deluxe Monthly, let me get myself situated. <clears throat> I will tell you that if you use the Deluxe Monthly binder, the holes are different shaped. They don't turn as well. That being said, I love the binder and I'm going to stick with it for right now and we'll see what happens when the new planners come out in 2020. So I'm going to be using this planner cake kit. This is kit 201 and I have sheets J and K. I like to use these um, sticky notes from Erin Condren. I have one down the side of each month, and that way as things come up, I can just drop myself a little note right there. And that has been helpful as far as remembering what I have going on each month. One of the things I like most about the binder is that you can take the pages out so you have a little bit less bulk. That is definitely a wonderful thing. Now, I do not always use a, a monthly kit, but I decided I wanted to for January since it's, you know, the start of the new year and all that good stuff. So I'm going to cover up this little colorful strip at the bottom. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. So I have a lot of fun stuff planned for 2020. It's going to be like a huge transition year for us um, as a family, but I'm also planning a lot of cool stuff here for my channel. I'm just going to trim this. I'm trying to see what this looks like if I run it across the entire bottom like that. This is something a little bit different. So you can expect in the next couple of weeks to be seeing some videos from me setting up my 2020 budget binder, as well as some trackers and some things like that. I'm also going to be working in my power sheets for goal setting. I have not done any of my prep work yet, um, just because, you know, Christmas time and my kids being home and all that good stuff. So I have lots of work to do and I'm so excited because I want 2020 to be my best year yet. So I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. 
season. So we're getting ready to celebrate New Year's here in a few days, which is exciting. We don't really do anything fun, typically. Okay, so this is different. So Kate reformatted her kits, and now this is an, a, a separate strip from this. So let's see how this is going to go. Anyways, we don't typically do anything. We will probably go see some fireworks. I think Katie has something that she's going to do. Benjamin's going to get together with some friends. Um, Mike will actually be flying home that night from work. So it will just be pretty much Liberty and I. Michaela will be... Yeah, Michaela will be at work. So... I don't know exactly what we'll do. Probably see fireworks because fireworks are at like, I think eight, um, which is definitely doable. So how about you guys? What are you guys doing for New Year's? Anything fun? Or do you just kind of chill out at home? So you can choose which side you want to put January on. January does not have to go on that left-hand side at all. And I actually really like how this is separate. I think that's going to work out nicely. If you wanted to just cover up those days, you could, and then not have to use that thick washi at the top. That's an option too. I am not going to use these date covers. To me, it just makes it look a little too cluttered. So I'm going to leave that. And then one thing that I noticed about these is they are just like individual. They look like one big sheet but they're not. They are individual stickers. So let's see how this will go. There's that one. And then it used to be these, these right here would have just been one sheet. So this is a little different. I'm just going to call that good enough. All right, so there is the framework for my month. And now I can go ahead and add in all of the extra things. And I still have a lot of stickers left on this sheet. So that is kind of fun. I don't know what that is. The first thing I'm going to mark is when we are leaving for Alaska. So that will be, yeah, this day. And then I'll use this thin washi right here. I think we're coming back Tuesday. As far as I know right now, that is the plan. So Benjamin will already have one back to Chicago, so he will not be able to come with us, which is definitely a bummer. And then Michaela will be at work, so it will just be my husband, myself, Liberty, Katie, and then we're taking Lucas with us. The next thing I'm going to mark is, and I'll use this one down here, uh, Liberty... I think I've told you guys before, is the school board representative um, for her school district. Because even though she's homeschooled, her homeschool program that she schools through has a brick and mortar school. Well, they have several. A lot of the area, or they have several brick and mortar schools. A lot of the village schools are part of her school district. So we are going to Anchorage for a board meeting that she has to attend and I get to be her chaperone. Um, I also need to mark this one right here because Mike will be flying back to Juneau this day to go back to work. 
I'm going to use one of, let's see how this will work. Okay, so this is Michaela's birthday right here. I'm actually really excited. This is her 21st birthday and she's not going to watch this. I know she's not, so I don't have to worry about that. But we, she wanted a makeup vanity. Um, that was one of the things that was on her Christmas list. And we did not get that for her for Christmas, but we got one from the, one of our local um, antique stores. Let me see if I can find you guys a picture of it really quick and show it to you. It's completely been refinished and it is adorable. I actually am going to pick it up today. Let's see. I thought I sent her a picture. Hmm. Oh, I know why, because I took a screenshot of it. There we go. I found it. So anyways, this is what it looks like. So it's been refinished in this aqua color. It comes with a chair as well. And then you can lift this part up and there's the mirror. But you can also just leave it down like that if you want to put your own mirror on top of it. And then it's got a couple of drawers. So it's super cute. I really, really, really am excited about that. So that's what we got her for her birthday. All right. So Benjamin very 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 sadly I'm not gonna be ready for him to go leaves at like 1 a.m. on the 3rd to go back to Chicago to finish out his junior hockey season Michaela is getting some dental work done on this day and I already have Mike marked to go back to Juno Katie leaves to go back to school on this day. Let's see, what else do I want to mark? I was going to mark that this is homeschool skate on the 15th, but I'm not going to do that since um, I did get our uh, airline confirmation our, air, our airline tickets sent to us today and Liberty and I will not be back in time to go to homeschool skate but work samples are due this day so I'm going to mark that right there so I don't forget and I'm going to put this little asterisk right there as well what else oh one more thing I think this is the right day so let's see yeah Mike will come home this day. One more birthday that I want to mark. I actually like using these little asterisk stickers as kind of a reminder for, you know, to make them a little stand out a little bit more for birthdays. It's kind of a fun way to use them. So this is Devin's birthday. My brother's birthday is right here. And then I think right now, other than paydays, oh, maybe I should do a no school because Liberty, oh, look, these are, if that's going to focus so that you can see it or not. They are not cut out. They're just completely rectangular, which is interesting. So Liberty will have no school on either of these days. I actually think I like that square, squarish format of those stickers. She will not have school this day or this day either. Let's see how many. No, oh, I only have one more news, no school, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and mark paydays, and I'm just going to use these. So this will be a payday from his new job. And then this will be a payday. It's 
going to take us a little bit to get into this new job payday schedule. It's every other week, which is, you know, not anything new. But how their pay schedule or their pay period works is like the first paycheck is for 11 days worth of work. And the next paycheck is only for three. So that, which three days worth of work is going to be a really small paycheck compared to what we're used to. But the first one will be bigger. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we will figure that out. And then payday will actually be this day. No, let's see. Probably this day, but I'm going to just mark it right here anyways, because even if it is um, payday on this day, it will be January's. Um, we'll count it as January's income because those are the bills that we'll need to pay. And then... February's pay will probably come on this day as well. So let me go ahead and mark that because it'll be two paydays. So he'll have retirement and his regular paycheck. And then Katie says her first day of classes is this day. So I will mark that. I need to figure out when Benjamin's first day of classes is going to be because um, he's going to probably take one more online class since he finished his math. I need to have him look and see what he got because I think he probably did really well. I also know that Katie made Dean's List again this semester, so it's good. She's got one more semester and then she will be graduating. It's exciting. All right, I think that's about it, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I have links to all of the Erin Condren products that I've used down below in my description box. There's also a referral link that you can sign up and get a $10 off your first Erin Condren order coupon emailed to you. And then it also does give me a referral bonus. And then there's also affiliate links for all of my Erin Condren products. So I'd appreciate it if you would use those to order your stuff. That helps me out, helps support my channel. What else? What other housekeeping stuff do I need to tell you? Planner Kate's Etsy shop is linked down below as well as a promo code for 20% off your orders. And I think that's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.